All right, Reese, and they're ready to go inside Rupp Arena as well. As loud in here as it was up there for you guys in game day. This is some kind of atmosphere here tonight for the Gators and the Wildcats. The defending national champs have five starters back, all scoring in double figures. They've won 15 in a row. Meanwhile, Randolph Morris leads Kentucky in scoring and rebounding, but he'll need help from perimeter players Ramel Bradley and Joe Crawford tonight for the Cats to have a chance to win. It's a special night here in Lexington. Go blue, they say. Dickie V's even got some blue on. It's rivalry week when friends and families are divided. The Gators, for us to, uh, for us to make Kentucky fans now, we don't have to say anything. All we have to do is this. You say either, I say either, you say neither, and I say neither, either, either, and either, neither, and let's call the whole thing off. They used to be one of the best programs in the country, used to be. And, um, Still are. and now they're the, uh, they went from the Wildcats to being the uh, House Cats. Might I add that University of Kentucky is the most winningest basketball program in the United States. Florida's going to repeat as national champions because they have a national championship team on the court right now. The best starting five in history of the world. It's true. That may be true, but no. If Florida beats UK, I'm going to streak down Broadway. Buck naked. Go, Gators! Come on, Gators! Get up and go! than 23,000 Kentucky basketball fans have packed Rupp Arena to the rafters for the game that they had circled on their calendar months and months ago. Welcome to ESPN Saturday Primetime, presented by DirecTV, all a part of Rivalry Week, presented by Cisco. Number 18, Kentucky, hosting number one, Florida, here at a sold-out Rupp Arena.